Hi there, this is Stuart Fradkin. I played the part of Fitz, Fitzgerald in the cult classic Ski School. And I wanted to welcome you to Microshocks Retrospective. So um, about 1989, I remember specifically because I was at uh, a, a friend's house when I got a phone call on my uh, voicemail uh, from uh, my agent asking um, if I would be interested in reading for a part in a movie called uh, Ski School. Uh, I read the script, thought it was thought it was good, didn't think it was great, thought it was basically Animal House on the slopes. Best part of the movie was a character named Dave Marshall, not Marshak, if you notice. In, uh, in the final cut of uh, Ski School, uh, they looped or added in uh, the Marshak part because they couldn't get clearance on Marshall. Anyway, excuse me, just a small amount of trivia right there for you. Um, so I read the part of uh, Dave Marshall. I thought that was awesome. I really, uh, really wanted that part and uh, worked very hard um, memorizing it and uh, um, auditioned and did well. Got a call back from my agent saying that uh, did an excellent job, but uh, they were going to make an offer to a, um, an actor named Dean Cameron. And I said, okay, cool, whatever, fine. Um, they called back. Uh, Dean took the part, but they said they still wanted me to be in it. I didn't have any interest really of, of uh, doing it because there wasn't much to the, the Fitz part at the time. They said, no problem, you can sit down with the writers and uh, you know hash out you know some more uh, uh, dialogue and more character development. Character development in a B-movie. Nice. Um, and uh, I said, not really, and they threw some more money at me, and finally I thought about it. My agent said, uh, I think it'd be a good move for you, I think it'd be fun, good. I sat down and thought about it, and the real reason I really wanted to do it was work with uh, to work with Dean Cameron, who at the time was the it boy. He was the man. He was the the up and coming star, um, young star. Um, uh, he had done summer school and uh, Bad Dreams, and had a contract with Paramount, and so I thought it would be fun to work with him. It's a good thing I did. to ski school was um, not that good to begin with. I never actually met the writer, the actual writer. I don't know if there was an actual writer of ski school, but um, I'd say about a third of what you see in the final product was made up by um, the actors on set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a, um, some credit um, because uh, about halfway through the production, one of the producers called myself and Dean up to his hotel room. Um, where we were shooting, we were shooting in Whistler, uh, British Columbia, and uh, sat us down and said, "Look, we're about a third um, short, not about a third short, but we're about ten minutes short. And are you guys interested in writing some stuff? We really like what you're doing." And so Dean and I and uh, Pat Laverto sat down and hashed out some ideas and came up with um, uh, uh, "Birth of the Lombada," um, "Whose Underwear Is This," "Helium Theater." Uh, and Godzilla, and all that stuff is in the final product, I'm proud to say. So after ski school was completed, I had a lot of time on my hands. Uh, I was a full-time actor, so all I did was kind of just hang out, smoke pot, and uh, wait for auditions. Uh, my wife was working in... Um, in on uh, a movie at the time and then another movie after that so she was on location I had a lot of time on my hands so I spent a lot of time with Dean after that we hung out went to the movies and um, talked about why we aren't going up for this we're better than that actor and that kind of thing uh, finally a script came by um, it was pilot season we were both extremely busy uh, we both tested went to the network for this for a part on, on the same TV show at the same time, a script for a TV show called They Came From Outer Space um, came uh, to both of us, and we were both going to audition for the same part. We got together, as about, uh, the show was about uh, two alien brothers from outer space who come to Earth to get an education. Uh, anyway, so Dean and I said, why don't we read for this together? It would be great. Um, so I read, I read for the part of Bo, the more conservative one, and uh, Dean read for the part of, um, I'm sorry, I read for the part of Abe and Dean uh, read for the part of Bo, 
uh, the more uh, obnoxious of the two, sex crazed. And uh, we ended up booking it, and we did uh, 20 episodes of uh, that show. If you get a chance, go to stewardfratking.com, and you can order those episodes. Uh, no, I did not know how to ski before uh, ski school started. The producers did not ask me uh, if I knew how to ski. Um, so there I was on the slopes of Black Cone Mountain in Whistler, British Columbia, learning how to ski. And it was pretty incredible. It was absolutely beautiful. It was off season, so the town of Whistler was pretty much empty. So the, um, uh, the, the town belonged to us, in essence. Uh, we had a fabulous time, and uh, um, I learned how to ski on their dime. Thank you, movie store. Uh, were we having non-stop erotic fun? No, not really. It looked like it, but we weren't really. I mean, having hotties like uh, Ava's Flavor Bin and... Uh, uh, Charlie Spradling and Darlene Vogel there, no, no, did not, uh, did not partake in any of that. Ski school too, what happened? Beats the fuck out of me. I know that uh, Dean had told me that they were going to do a ski school too, and uh, they didn't ask uh, myself or Pat Laberto to be in it because supposedly they didn't have the money or the budget for it. I don't know if that was the truth or not, but to be honest with you, I may not have done it at the time unless the the money was right. That probably was correct because I had moved on to other things and I was looking to get out of the um, B-movie genre at the time. I wanted uh, Hollywood to take me a little bit more seriously. Um, and you, you see how far that's gotten me. <laughs>